remember thinking after that series, I having those conversations through the series, having the you know that, that focus of the group of not letting the, the run rate increase too much. And I think I, I got stuck in a mindset of I have to change the way I bowl to fit into this group. I tinkered with my action. Then I got stuck in that mindset and I, I felt like everything went backwards in those few shield games and I felt like I was bowling slow, I couldn't have the rhythm. Mitchell Stark yet to take a wicket. Um, for 17, he's been the most expensive bowler for New South Wales. And I think that came from a mindset of having to having to peg it back and be this one spot bowler, which, which Josh and Pat do extremely well, and that's just not me. And then I got stuck in not being able to get that airspeed up, which brought about that, that sort of technical change. I remember going through it maybe two training sessions um, in between Shield games, I think it was before the summer, the test summer started. Around the wicket to Neil Smith, bowls him! This one thunders into the off stump and that ends the Tasmanian innings. Over the years, I've figured that um, working with different guys, with Troy Cooley, Andre, Craig McDermott, that where my bowling arm sits at back foot landing, if I've got that near my back hip, the timing and the speed is sort of in sync. And I don't know if it was the mindset of having to, to pull back the runs, that everything got long and slow and I lost that, some of that speed or that arm speed as well. So to get that ball set there early, I felt like it would snap over. And whilst it probably felt really mechanical and, and not the natural sort of thing that I had been bowling with for a long time, it, having that there felt like I was in position early so I could snap and, and snap fast and hard. There's Mitchell Stark at full flight, beautiful flowing action, big strides, long levers. They get much uh, better rhythm than that. Certainly looking more compact, isn't it, with that little technical change in that gather. Better control. And whilst I don't do that now, at the time that helped me get my airspeed back up, helped me be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, I might have gone for a little bit more on terms of runs in a spell or whatnot, but I, I got that aggressive back, I got that wicket-taking ability back and that airspeed, which, which is all the things that I brought to the table in the attack. almost gone back to, to the old action if you like and, and ha being able to transfer the sequencing of the back foot and, and the arm speed and, and the rest of it, it's sort of all come back and it's, it's probably helped me get my wrist back into a better position being in that natural free flowing sort of run up and delivery which I had had and just being able to transfer that into the timing and the arm speed now. To, have the same in a best spot for the new ball and certainly for the old ball as well.